Okay, another day, another video. Uh, today I want to talk about um, some thoughts I had when I saw um, uh, the articles about the Norwegian athlete Peter Nortug, the guy who used to ski for the Norwegian team and for himself, of course. And I remember um, he was actually uh, driving, I think it was 170 kilometers an hour, uh, probably in a, with cocaine in his blood. And uh, he has had some uh, uh, problems with addiction for quite a while, which I actually I, I kind of knew it for a long time because I remember a few years ago when he was actually going to do some competition he was sitting around playing poker instead of training and, uh, and uh, sleeping and doing stuff like that and of course it didn't turn out well and uh, then I, I said then back then to people that this is not gonna end up well because I saw this kind of you had this kind of uh, arrogance a sort of narcissism uh, where he wasn't really a team player I mean if you are on the Norwegian uh, uh, Norwegian uh, national team you should you should be a team player and he also had in him this, of course, defiance of, of authority and stuff, which I can basically identify with, with no problem. I, I cannot understand him in that way. And um, I have also done a lot of mistakes myself. I've never been like that, I think, that I was so high on my own ego that... I just didn't uh, have any sort of introspection. So he was caught once for drunk driving. And now this time he was caught with uh, probably cocaine in his blood. Driving 170 kilometers an hour. They also found some cocaine in his uh, apartment. And um, uh, he also had filmed himself driving in 200 kilometers an hour. And uh, of course, this is not a good thing for him. But the thing is that I have sympathy for him because, because of me having done a lot of mistakes myself. And I can see how easy it is to go down a rabbit hole where you basically keep on doing the wrong things over and over and over again. And it accumulates into a basically uh, when things just start to dissolve. Because it's not the single thing, it is all the things that you do over a long period of time. Actually, Jordan Peterson talks about that in some of his lectures, how you actually slowly start to chip off your life. Uh, and um, of course, Peter Nortug was a great, a great athlete. There is no doubt about that. He was a he's really, really great athlete. And um, for me, it doesn't really matter because I don't care about sports anyway. I absolutely don't care about sports. I don't follow sports. I don't care about sports. But I can acknowledge the immensity of his achievement as an athlete. No problem. And the thing with achieving that is that you ha need to have this warrior gene. And the warrior gene would usually bring with it this... Um, Probably you are a little bit manic, you are hyperactive, you are uh, maybe a little bit of bipolar and you have all these warrior gene, I call it warrior gene, the guy who can actually push 
himself a little bit further, push it to the limits and beyond. But it comes with this horrible side effect that if you don't have anything to focus on, your brain will just go into absolute and total chaos. So you won't be able to focus on anything. And that's where, <laughs> that's where uh, alcohol and drugs and, and, and gaming and all that, these things comes in and replace the flow you got from doing what you love. And being an athlete, it has kind of a, it has a short lifespan within the top echelon of, of being an athlete. Me as a painter, I can do my paintings for the rest of my life. I would probably die in front of a painting. Hopefully, I will. that's how I will go. I will just do my work, fall over and be gone. But for Nurtug, he had to kind of, when he was done with his, with the high level sports, it seems like he didn't find another thing to fill up this, this empty hole uh, that was of course left from not training two times a day and being in the media all the time and uh, being on top of, of the pops all the time. So he didn't find that and he basically turned to drugs and uh, spending, playing poker and all these things. And we've seen this happen to people before. We saw this happen to Mike Tyson. We've seen this happening a little bit to uh, McGregor in MMA. You have seen a lot of athletes and, and a lot of uh, musicians and a lot of artists and stuff that has done da gone down that rabbit hole. Uh, and that is why I feel real sympathy for him because hopefully, hopefully, he is not a sociopath. Hopefully, he is not a complete narcissist. Hopefully, he can now use this as a way to rebuild everything. Because this is like, it's like you have created your own, your own little fight club in a way. And then something happens and it just comes in from the side and just smashes the whole fight club you have built up around you to pieces. And you have to deal with all the fallout. You have to deal with uh, uh, the breakdown of pride, the breakdown of, of hubris. Uh, you know, you have to, you know, your, 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 your tiny little world is smashed to pieces and you have to start to rebuild it. And there are only two ways to go here. You can start fighting, rebuilding, learning from it, and uh, just grow. And I have to say, for me, I found the philosophy of Stoism, which really helps to focus what's important. At this point in my life, I just want to do my paintings. I want to have some peace of mind. I want to have a life that is uh, a more... I don't want it to be like this anymore. I want it to be kind of a more quiet sea with some waves in it. I don't want to be all happy or all sad. I just want to be, try to find a way to, to even everything out. And the way to do that is to go for flow. It is for me through painting, writing, creating videos on YouTube, uh, just thinking, just sitting here with a cup of coffee, enjoying my life. I go out, I meet friends, I don't drink much. I maybe have a couple of glass, two or three glass of wine, maybe one bottle a month. And I get this really good feeling, but not all the side effects. 
So if I could give one advice to Nortuk is basically to take this as a learning experience, study Stoicism, Stoic philosophy, Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and all the Greeks, and all you know, the, and also listen a lot to Jordan Peterson, uh, 12 Rules of Life. I would really recommend that. And just take this as a learning experience. Your world is smashed to pieces for a little while, and now it's time to rebuild. And the way for him to do this now is just write a, a diary and a very truthful uh, biography of what actually happened on Varnished, why it became, and learn from it. Take it, grab it, learn from it, and you will come out of this better, way better, also as a human being, your life will be way more calm and find that thing that you love. Not playing poker, not driving cars, not buying shit, nothing like that. Start, do the training, become a teacher in training. I mean, the guy has been on top of the pops. It can be such a resource for young people. He can uh, make a YouTube channel and do, do uh, and uh, tell people how he, he, uh, what he was eating, how he was training, how he, he could do a lot of stuff with his experiences, and uh, build from there. You can't always be on top, okay? And you will sooner or later fall. And when you fall, there are two ways to do it. You can choose not to live. That is one thing. Death solves all problems. There is no doubt about that. It solves all problems for you. Of course, it gives a lot of other people a lot of problems. They have to bury you, they have to grieve, they have to do all these things. So suicide is not a good option in, if you have some some. Uh, sympathy and empathy for your loved ones and and uh, maybe even for yourself so uh, and if you choose to live if you choose to live and you want to live a good life you have to choose flow you have to choose all the things that isn't based on short buzz I can't remember a th single thing that has become better in my life by seeking short buzz. The only times where my life is getting better is when I really, really, really focus my mind and create something. And then I retreat, I get. I get my self-respect from that. I don't demand respect from other people. I don't, and nobody should. And we should just go in, in here, and find peace. So that is my advice to Nurtug or any other person who is uh, hooked on alcohol or drugs or short buzz, gaming, anything, any porn, whatever. Nothing of this will make your life better. Overeating, over drinking, nothing, nothing of this will make it better. You have to find that balance. Just enough food, just enough training, just enough work just enough sleep, just enough of everything. That is a way to go. That is how you rebuild your life. Slowly and steadily. And there is also one thing I want to say in the end of this video. 
If you are a person that are using drugs, especially cocaine and stuff like that, you should remember that thousands upon thousands of people in South America and other places in the world are being killed every day by the Mafia and you are also contributing to driving crime and mayhem in our society when you are doing it. And if you are driving like a madman, you are not just a danger to yourself, but you are also a danger to other people. So what you do in your life will, will affect other people. And if you do wrong things all the time, it will affect other people badly. So, if we want to make society better, and we want to contribute to make society better, we should fix our own lives, take responsibility, and just don't say, oh, it's not really my problem, I don't know those, those people, uh, I'm not the one who's making it, I'm not the one who... If you're buying drugs, you are the problem. And if you are driving like crazy, you're a danger to yourself and society. So stop it. Focus on, focus inward on flow and take responsibility for being one of the ants in society who are actually doing the best you can to make society better, not worth, worse. And that will be my goal for my life, besides creating art and uh, maybe contribute in a good way to my art. So, I, uh, with this, I hope the best for Peter Nortug. I hope he learns from it. I hope he, he has a super chance to rebuild this economy and everything with a good biography and other things. So, cheers for him and everybody else who suffers from the same problems. Uh, yeah, that was it. So, cheers for that. And with this, I think I rest my case. Okay, here we are at the end. Uh, I just want to say uh, this channel is uh, more for my thinking. Uh, if you want to see me paint, do you find a link in the description to my uh, YouTube channel where I do my um, long and short uh, painting lessons. Um, if you uh, want to learn how to paint with all paint, uh, I hope you give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell me what you think, agree, disagree, hate, love, everything. And uh, if you really want to be a sweetheart, you also find a link to my Patreon in description. And you can, if you like, check it out and support my channel, you know. Artists also need to live, so. Anyway, with this... I hope to see you in the next video and stay cool, keep living and live a stoic.